Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. It is uh, early October and as you can see it is pissing down with rain. Uh, today we have got another day on the grass. Hopefully rain doesn't affect the, the yield on our grass. Hopefully it's not going to wash any of it away or turn our hay back into grass. But first off I think we're going to head out with the Massey and we're going to attach the uh, loader wagon and we're going to go and pick up the grass that we rode I can't remember where the loader wagon is I think it's round by the larger cow barn if I remember rightly I haven't been and brought any cows we are still animalless. Uh, last night I didn't go out and do any cultivating either, or any cultivating, any contracting. Um, just I haven't had the time between uh, episodes to get out there and do that. So uh, no extra money. We are still sitting at thirty-one grand. Anyway, let's uh, hook the pottinger up. There we are. Nice. Tell you what, I like the sound of the window wipers. I like the, si oh, the side wiper and everything. I like that. I like how the sounds change as well underneath, under cover. It's when you go out of cover. See how that faded out? Hopefully you can hear that well while I'm talking. But yeah, it sounds so different. Right, I'm going too quick around. <laughs> Control yourself, man. I was just excited to get on here. I'm, I'm enjoying this map so much. <laughs> I haven't even done anything and I'm enjoying it just because of the uh, the complexity of the farm and just, just stuff like that. It's just making it fun. That we've got equipment. <laughs> we've got equipment on uh, Ube. I'm not going to lie, we have got equipment, but, you know, we've got different equipment. We're not just um, <laughs> cultivating all the time and stone picking. Oh. Right, so that's lowered. It's on. So we're just going to get this grass in. If it doesn't all go in here, that's not a problem. Uh, we just want to get as much of it as we can. I think. Um, Earlier on I checked, I think, I don't think, I know. I checked uh, the states of our other fields. The uh, the ones obviously that I rolled and that I fertilised. Those grass fields are fine. They've obviously got their double fertilisation states and they don't have any weeds on as of yet. The one that we planted with barley, it has its two fertilised states and doesn't have any weeds in as of yet. So that's pretty good. Obviously, the ones that I've just cut, those ones have one fertilization state from the cutting. It always uh, seems to, it doesn't always though, but it does seem to replenish the, uh, the fertilizer from one state. So uh, we'll be looking to roll these and hopefully uh, get a second fertilization state. Now, everything needs lime, everything needs ploughing, which I'm ignoring for the first year. It's just how it is. Actually, I don't think these need rowan. Rowan? Roland, if I remember. The only one that says it needs rolling is the crop field, the arable field. And uh, so that'll be something that's done after it's been... Uh, maintained next time round. Sorry, I'm about to lose my voice. Excuse me. It's, uh, <laughs> as soon as I start recording, does my voice start to go? So I think we've got to pretty much get most of this in here. There'll be a little bit left. Um, could I come round and bail it? Probably. Should I? Probably. I think I'll leave it in the field, though what it's going to be worth. We'll see if we do the get the hay bales and then we get half a hay bale or whatever left when we do that 
and uh, we could come try and finish it off with a little bit of grass that we've got on the floor in here. It'd be nice to just fill this up though. Like I say, if we've got the hay, that's because should be our main feed. This will just be a uh, supplementary. And uh, hopefully then we won't have to buy too much TMR until we can do, do our own TMR. So anyway, it's a perfect size little field just for filling this up with grass. We'll have to remember this next time round. There we are, 16,100 litres. Bull. And it's still raining. Hopefully it's not going to rain all day. So the novelty will wear off. Now we're going to put the grass under cover. Um, back where we got it from, probably. Because then, if that's the cow shed I want to use to start with, we've got some feed there near it. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably put bales in there. So we'll just store this over here for now with the rest of the grass stuff. That would make sense. But the angle on that is not good enough. Well, I don't know. My reverse is not very good on this game, though. That's the trouble. I don't know why. Actual reverse was always really good. It shouldn't rot away. It should stay full until we need it. I've waited out the rain for <laughs> for nearly two hours now. Hoping it would uh, ease off. If anything, I think it's gotten worse. Well, the weather forecast does say rain up until around about midday. So we, I might wait out until about midday. And then we'll go out and rake the rest of our hay that we've already ted. Well, it's ten past twelve. Hopefully uh, the rain will die off soon. It has gotten lighter. I don't think that's the way I want to go. We put the uh, windrower up by the tether and everything else, didn't we? Let's round this way. So yeah, the uh, the top right hand corner tells us that it's cloudy. It doesn't say rain, so the rain should stop any minute. Possibly by the time we've got our equipment all on. We are in the uh, the John Deere for this one. I do like to give the equipment, um, I say fair screen time, but you know, yeah, say fair screen time. Why not? Right, hook that on. We'll start with the big meadow out front. There we are. Just as we pull away, look, the rain stops. So that means our hay is dry now. Hopefully it's still hay. It does look like it's still hay. Like the grass has grown through pretty quick though. That was an issue I had on No Man's Land. Let the grass grow so quick. Now I'm sure, as I was told on No Man's Land, I can change it in the XML files, but that's not something I'd like to play around with. I don't have the best luck with technology, despite me trying to do all this stuff. So uh, I certainly don't go about making it harder for myself by messing up the innards and the workings of it all. So we'll unfold it. Lower it down. Let's just get ourselves in a little bit closer because, you know, we like to do that sort of thing. Let's turn her on. I don't know when she when when it became a she. I don't know when she became a she. It's just a thing some of us do. Genderize inanimate objects. <laughs> Mental. Okay. Let's 
so most of our day is going to be taken up by doing uh, all of our fields. I think we've got three. This is the largest, then the other cow meadow, and then the sheep meadow. And then after that, hopefully we'll be looking to get some baling done. And we've had to wait out a massive chunk of the day. So whether we'll get the baling in or not, I don't know. I hope so. Because we do need to get out there into the community, do some jobs and make some money. I haven't paid attention to what our daily cost is, but I'm sure it's costing us a fair old bit. We've got quite a bit of equipment. And we have got a fair old bit of, bit of property. Plenty of sheds and storage and such. Now, I'm not expecting mammoth swaths especially on this outside one because we've got the uh, painted growing grass and there was nothing, no treatment, uh, no care to the uh, planted grass on the meadow. So it's going to be a bare minimum yield. But our next one will be better and our one after that will probably be even better because I will plough it up. You know, we, we could even plough them up this year. But that would mean I wouldn't have time to get out and do jobs. We'd need to buy a plough. It would have to be a relatively small plough because we haven't got a big tractor. No lizard 6M for us here. Let's try and get that round. It's going to be in the bush a bit, but... Not the worst manoeuvre I've done. Remember guys, if you're enjoying these episodes, if you're enjoying this series, please hit the like button. It, like button. it really helps to get these videos out there to more like-minded people who enjoy the farming content. It helps to circulate it. It lets uh, YouTube know that people enjoy it. That's uh, greatly appreciated. A like button costs you nothing, but really helps me out. And if you're feeling super generous and you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button and turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live because that really does help me out massively and again costs you nothing if anything it'll benefit you as to when this quality quality content is going out with all my mess ups and all my mistakes and all my misspoken speech <laughs> right let's crack on with this it's fannying around last little loop or pass or whatever it is I'm doing here so it doesn't take long to do this I'm sure my technique is well off but it's working for me you know, I've always had sort of a rule when it comes to uh, games and things like that and I say, you can tell me what to do when you pay for them. I wouldn't tell anyone else how to play their games. I just show my way. Although I'm always happy for a little ridicule, if that's how people feel. I feel like we still get stuck in a low gear doing this. I think we could probably go quicker than what we are. Yeah, look at that. That's much, that's a, well, it's not as quicker, but it's definitely smoother and not as noisy. I'd say we're on automatic, but still uh, seem to end up 
stuck in a low gear. Right. Bring my HUD back up. Let's fold it up. See? Stuck down there in C when we need to be in D. Now I will need to open up the gates again. straight on into here. Now I think I gave a wide enough berth to not need to shut this gate. So we'll get this unfolded while we find ourselves in our start position. Oh, dog's going to get a... Uh, huh. Yeah, I think <laughs> bad things might happen here. The dog comes with a farm. I didn't buy it. it. just sort of was here when I turned up. I have been feeding him though. <laughs> At least uh, once a day. Okay, let's lower that down. Oh. What's going on here? There we go. Start you up. Crazy machine. Got mine of its own. There we go. That's a bit smoother. We want to go up a gear. There we are. Now we're rolling. We got steam rolling. So it's just getting yourself in the right gear. Now this might not this might be because it's not the working gear. Perhaps for work in the fields you normally would be down in uh, in D, but we're up in E now. And I'm gonna take it. I'll take anything that's gonna help get these chops done nice and quick. say because although I don't want to be showing you know episode after episode after episode of uh, contracts I do need to get out there and do contracts that's one of the things that's always time permitting I don't want to slow down uh, doing the episodes just so I can get contracting that's, that's madness Although it would be nice to maybe show a few so we can get out there and see the rest of the map because it's going to be a while before we're hitting up uh, production sites and stuff like that. We are going to be focusing on the farm quite a lot to start with.
there we have it. Our final field has been pretty much a road. There's a few little bits here and there. But I'm not going to gripe about that. We've got this little patch. We will get that. There was a reason I didn't fold it all away. I knew this was here. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking with it. Now we'll turn it off and fold it up. Beautiful stuff. So we'll go and put this away. Then we'll be getting on to some bailing. I believe we've got time. Yeah. I'm sure I can uh, do some condensing in the editing. Now I think it's only right that the uh, the baler goes on the Massey. Would be wrong not to, wouldn't it? Now we don't have any twines or anything like that yet. Hopefully uh, they come into the game soon. Once again I do like the added realism part of it. I am going to start getting this unfolded as we come in. And we are probably going to end up with hundreds of these little bales. We are. And I don't believe... Well, yeah. I think we can't um, change any of the, sort of the density of these bales. They are as they come out. Now, hopefully... We won't have to have this little baler for too long. It'd be nice if eventually we can uh, get ourselves something a little bit bigger. Be nice if we could even <laughs> get the swaths. I think this is going to take me quite some time. It's going to take forever to pick up. But at least we can pick these up and stack these by hand if we want. Although I, I do think we've got a stacker that does these. It would be weird if we were given a stacker and it does do these. Okay, this is a great little setup. We're missing a ton. I'll probably have to come around a second time after I've cleared some because uh, the bales are going to be in the way. But if we do only get a few cows, then this will be great because they'll only need a little bit of feed at a time. Not sure when will be the best time to buy cows. Probably <laughs> once we've got some money. That's always a good time to buy stuff, isn't it? When you got the money. Oh, this is cool. If I remember rightly, when this came to uh, 17 and 19, I'm sure this was in 17. Um, it had a little chute uh, attachment uh, onto a smaller trailer or a. Like a loading wagon, but you could fire these uh, pails into it. It was quite crazy. I remember doing that on, um, I want to say, Valley of the Old Farm. I think that was the one. But yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Great times.
So, <laughs> we've got most of it. <laughs> Let's put it that way, we've got most of it. There are little piles and bundles about. There's some heaps here and there. Um, I think I'm going to struggle to get all of it with this baler. Uh, tried to be a little bit more finicky. And I got stuck on a bale. And then we clipped one, I think it launched into space. So I think we've lost a bale to the moon. But it's all good, it's all fun. Like again, it's, it's something, something a little bit different. Um, you know, maybe not be different for everyone else. Everyone else might be using this baler anyway. And it might just be me that's only now getting round to it. But I do tend to go for the large Heston balers or um, a fast round baler. But this is what we've got to start with, so this is what we've got to work with. But these bales weigh absolutely nothing and worth even less. But it's fun. It's something different. Oh, look at our massive old bit over there. Makes you wonder what I was doing. How do you miss a strip like that? Uh, probably trying to avoid that bale there. Now we can try and weave through and get this little pile. And then that central strip, and then we'll leave it at that. I may, like I said at the start, I may go round once I've cleared the meadows of uh, bales, go round again and pick it all up, or I might just leave it. We will see. So, let's... Look out. We turn it off. I believe we unload somehow, maybe. I'm sure this is supposed to unload. There we are. Yeah, we've got a... a ton of bales to get off this field. That was pretty cool. But we do have more to do. But I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna leave that here for today's video. I think that's more than enough bale fun for one day. So if you've enjoyed today's video guys, give a big crap thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down below. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.